What's up, YouTube? Welcome to R3 Garage. And if you're tuning in and you're new, make sure to subscribe. You have a spot in the garage. And if you're returning, man, make sure to comment, man. Make sure to share. Make sure to like. And I appreciate it. And uh, let's work on this Tahoe. So today's objective, uh, I want to get the fuel uh, system uh, complete. And also, I want to get my coolant reservoir and all that uh, fitted up and the hose ran. And also, I want to get the transmission in tonight, uh, hopefully. Um, but I'm going to end up putting uh, the torque converter on, filling it up with fluid, and just getting everything ready. So, let's get into the video. So, guys, as y'all can see, I got everything ran nice and neat. I just got to um, temporarily mount this bracket right here that I had cut off uh, just to hair, like I said, just to have that uh, flat. Yeah, just like that. Cause it was sticking out like this. I end up like cutting it, grinding it down and all that little good things. And I wanna get these lines like mounted up uh, neatly. So uh, let's get to that. I'll let y'all see that. As you guys can see, I got the bracket temporarily mounted. So guys, as y'all can see, I have it uh, flat towards this beam part. Got more slack in this line. So right now I'm fin to mark these lines up, make sure they all neat, and y'all gonna see the done deal, and we're gonna move on to the next. So guys, the fuel lines are done uh, from the motor to the sensor, to the filter, and then to the tank. Don't ask me why I use zip ties. <laughs> But I don't have black zip ties. I forgot to get some um, while I was at Summit Racing. I was looking dead at it, but I didn't get it. I don't know what has slipped out of my mind. But I uh, can't get clamps because all the stores are not closed. So I'm just trying to get this done. Everything is nice and tight, as you can see. Don't look bad at all. Y'all tell me what y'all think about the fuel, uh, the fuel system, the fuel lines. It's gonna be in the truck anyway, so. Yeah, too much, I think. All right, guys, so I am on the torque converter. I am gonna fill it up with some fluid. Got some of this good bad boy right here. All right, I'm just gonna take some time to fill up. So we're gonna to try to, I should probably should have had a funnel. I'll make it. Anyway, it's going to take time to uh, come down. There you go, can see. So guys, to fill up this lonely spacing, I am adding a overflow tank. Uh, I did delete the reservoir uh, tank. It was pretty big. Um, it would have been running to my turbo and the tube and all that. But as you can see, I got the hose right here and yeah, y'all gonna see. Um, I found some two brackets I'm gonna use off a um, air filter uh, frame um, box um, or whatever, but uh, y'all gonna see. So I'm gonna cut it up, uh, mount the thing and uh, get her settled. So guys, as you can see, I have my reservoir tank right here. And these are the two brackets I was talking about. I'm gonna cut this off. And I'm gonna try to somehow cut this off and we're gonna mount it. So y'all gonna see the aftermath. So guys, as you can see, this is my bracket. So guys, this is the setup. Tell me what y'all think. It came out actually pretty damn good to be honest. Yeah, it came out pretty damn good. Tell me what y'all think. So guys, I got it installed. Thing ain't going nowhere, nice and sturdy. As y'all can see, tell me what y'all think about this little setup right here. Tell me what y'all think. I like it, um, especially like just coming off the top of my head, uh, making something out of nothing. Cooling side is done. The cooling side is done. I end up using zip ties once again. Um, I'm end up changing all that. Probably some time to roll, but Man, you gotta love it, man. You gotta, you gotta love it. So look at it. I got the overflow tank right here, man. 
got in this other port right here. So, man, one thing I have to do is plug these two off right here. Uh, that was uh, from the transmission. I'm going to uh, use a aftermarket transmission with fans. And just go from there. But yeah, looking pretty sweet under here. I'm just trying to fill up the space and all that. Might put an oil catch can right there. I'm not sure. Um, depending how this go, I'm still looking, still looking for a downpipe. I seen one, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not. Or well, I might have to just come out this way or go out that way. I mean, I don't know which direction would I go. Would I go down, or would I go this way, or would I go to the hood? I know to the hood it would be easier. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to have my AC. Um, so I'm not sure. We gotta figure something out. But let's see y'all. Um, we're gonna move on to the next. All right, guys. We're going to install the torque converter. So, guys, I had took the four L sixty uh, trans mount and put it on this one. Uh, <laughs> this one was all, you know, ain't had nothing. So now I gotta put uh, the torque converter in. So guys, this uh, is for 2000 to 2200 uh, stall converter. Um, we're gonna see what it do uh, down the road. We might, you know, get something more higher and all that. Um, but I think it should be pretty good. Right now I'm finna lube this up so we can, you know, slip it in there. And that should be it. Hey man, we got her in. I made sure we had three clicks. She's spinning freely. Oh man. So guys, after uh, changing the trans mount and uh, installing the torque converter, I am actually going to be trying to put this in by myself. Guys, we got the thing on the jack. Man, telling you, doing that by myself, it was a pain, but <clears throat> I believe in myself. It's a mindset. It's a mindset, man. So we got her on there for the strap rope. Whew, boy. And I'm not that big. About 185, 190. This about three something. Four. Boy. Big baby right here. 480 going in the turbo truck. So guys, as y'all can see, I work on dirt. Uh I mentioned it plenty of times. I could have put concrete down, but ain't no point. Um, but anyway, as you can see, to in order to roll this bad boy, um, I had to use this little thing right here, the little pan, just to roll it to get it where I need to get it at. And it's working out so far good. Me trying to push it, I would have probably been pushing for hours because it gets stuck in this dirt right here which sucks but hey we doing what we can do and shoot we rolling with it so hopefully i can get out of the truck possibly Guys, this is it's four in the morning. Guys, I've been struggling all night, especially with myself. First off, the truck wasn't even high enough. I had to go about two feet up, two feet, yo, to get it under. Transmission fell over. I had to wrestle with it. Now I'm trying to get it lined up. Once I get it lined up and the boat's in, I might uh, find a good stopping point. Cause I am really goddamn filthy. I gotta wash my clothes, take me a good ass shower. And that's pretty much it. Um, probably resume on it tomorrow night. So I'm gonna at least get it mocked up um, to the engine um, and just shit, <laughs> go from there.